Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, let's look at this mass competition problem. We want to solve this cubic root equation. For this equation, it involves two terms which contain the cubic root. At the first look, maybe you want to attempt this problem by making a complete cube on both sides. Or maybe you want to move one term to the right hand side and then make a complete cube. But this will generate many redundant terms, which contains fraction power. This will make this problem more complicated. So we want to use a better way to solve this and avoid those fraction powers. I will pause this video so that you can try it by yourself. When you are ready, you can resume this video to see the solution. The key idea to solve this problem is to use a substitution. We will see how to do that in details. So here we let a equals to the first term and b equals to the second term. Immediately, the original equation can be converted to this simple form, a plus b equal to 3, and this is our equation 1. Next, if we make the cube on both sides, we got a cube equal to 5 plus x, and b cube equal to 4 minus x. This is obvious. Next, we add them together, so we can eliminate x, and then we got a cube plus b cube equals to 9. And this is our equation 2. So instead of one unknown in the original equation, we convert it into two equations and two unknowns, a and b. Equation 1 is good because it's just a simple sum. Equation 2 is not that good because it's a cubic sum. So the power is too high. Maybe you want to plug in equation 1 into equation 2 and eliminate b, so we got a cubic equation. Because it's not that easy to deal with a cubic equation and to solve the root for a cubic equation. But if we can convert this cubic equation to a quadratic equation, then this will make this problem easier to solve. So we try to find some technique to reduce the power. And here, I will give two methods to reduce the power. For method 1, I expand the complete cube. And then we factor the cross terms, plug in numbers. Immediately, we get AB is 2. So if we combine these two equations, AB is 2 and A plus B is 3, then we can convert it into a quadratic equation. But before we do that, let's see the method 2 first. For method 2, we use this formula to do the factorization. Then plug in numbers. We got this intermediate step. Next, we add two terms on both sides. In this way, we can complete the square for the left-hand side. Plug in numbers, we got the same equation, AB is 2. So we can see for both methods, we got identical result, AB is 2. Now we are ready to solve this quadratic equation. Follow the standard procedure, we plug in the top equation to the bottom one to eliminate B, expand it, and factorize it we get a is 1 or a is 2. For a is 1, we get the solution for b is 2, and for a is 2, we get the solution for b is 1. Next, we just go back to solve x. For the first one, a is 1, b is 2, we put them back into the substitution. Then we got two simple equations for x and we got x is negative 4. For the second one, again we put back into substitution, and we got x is 3. 
Now this cubic equation is solved. The solution is x is 3 or x is negative 4. I hope you learned this substitution technique, which is very helpful to solve these square root or cubic root equations. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you like it.